Hey, how you doing? Welcome to my show. Doctor, kid, president, <laughs> junior. <laughs> I came up with a name that was wacky and funny and maybe like to kind of give the idea that maybe a kid named it. So from a kid's point of view, what do you want to be? A doctor or a president, right? Until you actually figure out what that entails. <laughs> it was started on a vacation. It was up in Vermont. But the thing was is that I wouldn't allow myself to do this show in, in, in New York because I was more worried about business as usual or like what, I, what, what I, other, my other main focuses were. It wasn't until I was on vacation in Vermont that I got relaxed enough to um, start the project, you know? And it was just too much fun because, you know, it's just like cooking because there's all your ingredients. The whole roadmap is laid out for you. You know, and so really this is painting because I love children's art because I love their spirit, but also I love painting. And in the most relaxed way, like, you know, uh, auto control, just smooth sailing, you know. The subject of children's art is dear to me and it's something I've been obsessed with for years. Um, also, I have uh, made copies of paintings for years as well and I think it's kind of interesting that um, you know like copying artist painters copying other painters is not necessarily like a bigger thing. You always have like a lot of ideas brewing and in a way these paintings allow you to have this you're an ideas person and this is almost allows you to have an infinite system it's a it's a way for you to paint this endlessly. There's yeah. so many millions of children's art around the world. And yeah. And I think that a painter is uh, inevitably looking for that, an excuse to paint. They're looking for any excuse to paint that makes sense to their own process. It's like someone mentioned that these were like Trump Loy, and I thought that was interesting in the sense that Trump Loy is trying to fake you know, how the surfaces of things look. Um, yeah, that's a really funny way of thinking about it. But. Like if it, the wall was marble, you trump -loy it. Well, these are, I guess, are trump -loy, but the trump -loy of, of fumbling around in the untutored hand. You talk about the purity of gesture. Yeah. Which is almost like an idea that can never be achieved. Reachieved, yeah. Once you learn too much and you learn the cliches of drawing things or you know, learn your teacher's cliches yeah. or wh whoever through that process. But I think it's interesting that, you know, a a a you said existential only in the sense that, you know, life is meaningless, whatever. Well, this is definitely an answer to that in the sense that it's in that moment, I'm pr preserving or bringing to you those moments where that wasn't on uh, the humanoid's radar. <laughs> a little child isn't thinking existentially. I got a lot of freedom from, from, you know, being able to use these works that uh, a lot of the works, like you pointed out before, don't exist. They've been destroyed. Some of them are, you know, almost 100 years old. And uh, the likelihood is that probably 90% of the paintings here are destroyed. And that... If not more, probably even more. Yeah. And, but that's the kind of crazy thing is, is that I just feel that there are certain things that these kids came up with, the compositions, the colors, the combinations, the spirit, the soul, is, uh, has had a great deal of impact. And if it wasn't that I collected these children's books for 10 plus years and harvested these images out of there and repainted them, most um, artists our age would never know they existed. And so I felt this needs to be like, hey, look, look at these, these amazing things, enjoy them on their own terms. How do you decide which painting to paint? Well, um, I look through tons of images and essentially uh, color is, you know, just as a painter, whether it's this project or any project in pa concerning painting and mostly anything, collage, color is the first thing. So if the color was really singing and you know, that was n number one. Um, also, like a robust uh, humor and, you know, um, rowdiness was important. It, it really is a, is a project of uh, passion and I just love this stuff and, you know, I, I didn't want to stop and I don't want to stop. So 
I'm interested to see how the project continues.